Hey, this is Daniel from Matarama. I'm here in my studio with Cadence and we're kind of playing around a little bit with textures today. So we decided to do this video to talk about how to like different textures to make them show up and, and kind of add a little contrast to your background. And Cadence had this kind of cool jacket. It's got this velvety kind of texture to it. And we just hung it here on a C-stand to make like a little uh, portrait. What's interesting about fabrics like this is sometimes you don't even have to light them because the specular highlights of the black fabric pop forward as soon as my front light hits it. So with this much distance, about three feet or so, we actually threw a backlight back there and it didn't look any different because essentially the angle of the light hitting the background is what's gonna give us our highlights coming back at the camera. So with this angle and this distance, I simply can light cadence and then all the highlights on the fabric will brighten up and then the black stuff of course goes black and adds kind of an interesting uh, background. Okay, so for this next setup, what I did was I did kind of a classic thing that people often make fun of, which is like hanging the sheet or just using a curtain, because that can look really bad if not done correctly. So when you've got something like a curtain hanging behind somebody, you don't want to just flatly light it, because then it just looks like a big wrinkled mess behind them. But I'm looking at this and I've got some nice folds in the curtain, so I'm going to use that to my advantage. I took my backlight, put it way off to the side with the grid on it, which is casting shadow pattern going across the thing to make a really interesting shapes between the blue and the black of the shadows. I also, to go with that for the feel of it, I using the same modifier on the front here, the beauty dish, where I turn it a little bit more to the side and throw a grid on the front. That's gonna keep this whole thing a little bit more mysterious, a little bit more dark. And again, I'm staying around the same exposure, and keeping the background in focus. When I knocked it out of focus, it didn't really look good to my eye, so I like it around uh, F11 here, which is where we shot the other setup. Okay, so for this final one, we decided to go with something a little bit kind of modern, and I had this piece of uh, reflective material, it's kind of metallic in the background, and what I'm doing here is Fernando's holding it as a background, and instead of just clamping it on a stand like you might do, he's actually folding it in to create different shapes, which is actually causing kind of a cool, like almost electric pattern across the background, and one problem I was having was my front light was really hitting the background too much and causing too much glare, so I went above, which is typically not something you want to do, but we're working Cadence's chin up, and then Dave is also coming in with a silver fill card in the bottom, and we're able to create a really nice even beauty light across their face with this kind of cool uh, slash of light in the background caused by the, the metallic background. So there's lots of things you can use as backgrounds, not just your typical seamless paper or backgrounds you could buy in a store, but remember that when you're using different textured backgrounds, you want to light them appropriately to get the feel out of the background that you want. Don't just light them all flat, they won't look right. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you next time on set.